All right, so welcome to the latest vidcast. It's been a little while since I've put one of these out here for everybody. Um, it's been crazy busy. Uh, my wife and I clean houses, and during uh, the holiday season, everything gets insane because people need extra work done. Uh, extra work just happens to come our way. We end up really busy. I'm trying to keep up with the podcast schedule. And, uh, and also, you know, we're living life. We've got friends and... Uh, you know, we're going to Halloween parties and celebrating Thanksgiving with families that have been so kind as to adopt my wife and I into theirs. Um, you know, Christmas is coming up. We've got to you know decorate for that and do all the things. So you know it takes it takes a lot of time. Uh, but with that, you know I've, I've been keeping up on the podcast trail and I've also been working on some other things. Uh, that you one that you might notice got a shun shirt here um, <laughs> I had made some shirts for this JW life back when I did that podcast and uh, I just made them for myself and my wife and uh, I posted a picture of us in New York City wearing those near the uh, Bethel building it still actually had the watchtower sign up at the time and uh, people saw the shirts and they were like oh you know where can I buy those shirts well I, I didn't that was my story. This JW life is li literally this JW life. Um, so I didn't have shirts for everybody, but uh, I did go ahead and make some shirts for the Shun Podcast. So that's something that uh, soon you'll see a little store up on the shunpodcast.com website. Um, it's something you can do if, if you like the shirt, if you want to support the show, uh, consider it not only a, a, a little donation toward the show, but also, uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool little shirt. So um, that will be up very soon. So I'm working on that. I've actually ordered a sample that will be, I had these done locally and I'm, I'm using a, a different fulfillment service. So I've ordered a sample. It's on its way. As soon as I get it, uh, I'll be putting that up on the website. We'll go from there. So, you know, that's one cool thing that, you know, I kind of got working on. Um, also, we had a really cool visit from um, a fairly freshly out uh, ex Jehovah's Witness. Her name's Sherry. She's from Australia and she and her auntie Bev, uh, Beverly has never been one of Jehovah's Witnesses, but you know, kind of watched this from afar. Um, well, actually, no, she watched it pretty close because she even went to the meetings with them at times and stuff. So um, anyway, the two of them, uh, they were on a trip to the United States and they were so lovely as to include my wife Jenny and I in the visit. So uh, they made a special trip just to see us, and we had an amazing time. We went to a, um, a glass blowing place here in the Louisville area, and we created our own ornaments, uh, which was really cool, our own Christmas ornaments. So, you know, we just did fun things. We got to hang out. Um, I actually did a podcast interview with Sherry and Auntie Bev and my wife Jenny as well. Um, all four of us were sitting in the living room and uh, it was Sherry's interview but everybody chimed in and we had a good time so you can look forward to that. That's going to be coming up on the, uh, the podcast as well pretty soon. But uh, the real reason you know I'm doing this is not just to, to update you on you know, shirts and things like that or my life or uh, or my, my office. I've actually done, uh, done a little work down here in the corner of the basement that I have. Um, you'll see that way. <laughs> um, that's uh, an art piece actually from Fernando who um, was, I can't remember which episode number it is, but he was on the Sean podcast. So Fernando's a talented artist and uh, picked up a cool piece from him and kind of making some progress down here and make it a little nicer for all this. So um, but th again, that's not why I'm talking about this. What I really wanted to bring to you uh, was my vision for 2019. So I have some, some ideas of what I'd like to do. I'm not going to be able to do it alone. Um, it's going to impact not only me, but hopefully be able to help other people. And it's going to require support from you, <laughs> from you who's watching or listening. Um, you know, we're all in this together. So I thought I'd, I'd kind of float out these dreams and goals and, and, and see what you think. Um, let you know what I've been up to as far as that goes. And um, 
yeah, we'll just go from there. So I've got some old school notes, like I'm giving a talk here. Um, <laughs> I'm the theocratic ministry school. I was never good at an outline. I was always the guy who literally wrote out everything uh, word for word and manuscript style. So uh, that's how I roll, and I'm going to do my best to maintain audience contact here. Um, all right, so the goal is to kind of sell you on my vision a little bit to let you know what I'm hoping to do in the next year. Um, in 2019, my goal is to raise my game, uh, to do some, some new, some maybe creative things. And um, in order to facilitate that, I've actually already started scaling back some of my actual paid cleaning work. Um, and, you know, my wife and I clean houses. And uh, we also cleaned a large office building. And, and we've gotten rid of some of that scaled back just a little bit. Uh, so that I'll have more time to do some of these things. Um, you know, to be brutally honest, that means I make less money <laughs> uh, to live on. But it's also going to give me more time. You know, time is money. And uh, so the time that I'm going to take away, it is going to cost me a little on that side. Um, but I think it's really going to pay off. I'm, I'm hoping it's really going to allow me the opportunity to help more people. So the first thing that I'm hoping to do, well, no, I'm, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to increase podcast production. Um, I'm not going to commit to a certain number per month, um, but currently, you know, I, I typically do one a month, and my goal will be to go ahead and increase to two a month. I'd like to at least double production. Um, that would be my goal. Now, why do I want to do this? Um, for one, I want to get more stories out there. Uh, you know, Watchtower has a content machine that just cranks out story after story, fictitious stories. A lot of them are embellished. But, you know, they crank out this information. And, and I want to do what I can to put out the truth about the truth, the, the real stories from the people who live this and what is happening to people out there. Um, also, Helping people to tell these stories is very therapeutic for them. I, I can't, I don't think I can really fully express, uh, I guess here's an, I could have done something a little more creative and, and got uh, testimonials of sorts, but um, I get so many messages from people who've been on the podcast and how it's changed their life, how they feel freer, how they now aren't ashamed of their story and they tell it to other people and they get feedback and they're, they're making friends. And I don't know, there's just something, it's like you're carrying around a heavy backpack full of this story. And when I can get you on Skype and when we sit down and we go through the interview process, it's, it's like you get to take that backpack and put it down. And it's not that you leave it behind but you're not carrying it anymore, so it's not as heavy. It's still there with you. It's beside you. It, you know, this isn't something that's just going to magically evaporate for anybody, but it helps people tremendously. I, I, can't, I can't say that enough. It really, truly is helping people. And not just that, obviously, it's helping the people who are listening. Maybe you're one of those people, um, but I get message after message from people who are like, Yes, <laughs> like this was my story. This person's story was my story. And so I don't feel alone anymore. It helps people take courage and, and just feel better. Nobody wants to feel alone. And the more stories we can put out there, the less people have to feel alone. Somebody out there is going to hear something that resonates with them, something that maybe triggers something in them that makes maybe makes them uncomfortable, but now they can work through and that's why I do this because it helps people. It, it, it truly does help. If I wasn't getting this kind of feedback, I'm not the kind of person who could sit here and do this. If I wasn't getting feedback from people that, that were truly being helped, uh, my ADHD self would get bored with this and I'd move on. So, you know, it really is making a difference. Um, and, you know, it means a lot to me personally, too. You know, I'm enjoying getting to meet these people, getting to know their stories, making friends with these people. Um, it's just community, and I think that's what we're all looking for. Now, um, 
obviously, the more podcasts that I do, it's going to mean more time invested on my end. Um, it could also result in greater expenses, especially if, I, if I'm going to do transcripts for all these. Um, again, the transcripts aren't cheap, uh, but they help the website have more content on it. And the more written content on a website, the better it scores for set search engine optimization. And then hopefully that just helps even one more person find the website, find the podcast, find their people. So, you know, that's why I do the transcripts. But all this stuff does cost money. Um, it also costs me time. And I guess because I've given up some jobs to do this, it's costing me money. So, you know, if I can get more support on that end through Patreon, um, it's patreon.com slash shunned. Um, you know, for as little as a dollar a month, if everybody, or if, if people could pitch in, I won't say everybody, if people could pitch in who, who have a little, you know, maybe don't get coffee this month or whatever, um, you know, that will help me to be able to spend more time on these projects. Um, and so, you know, that's just a matter of if you think it's worthwhile, if I, you know, I, I'm planning on doing this regardless as much as I can, but obviously the more support I have, the more I can do. Um, I also want to do some creative things with the podcast beyond what you've heard so far. Um, I have plans to uh, perhaps do some follow-up episodes with people um, with more of a focus on, on growth, on personal growth. Um, i got a little something I'm going to show you here in a second <laughs> relating to that. Um, I also want to give you, the listener, the opportunity to call in and have your voice be heard. Um, to maybe ask some questions and get some feedback and play some clips at the end of episodes. So I, I kind of want to do some fun things there um, that I think people will enjoy. So... Uh, you know, just keep listening, keep following me, and we'll see what we can do with that in 2019 as well. And, um, you know, I'm not averse to other creative ideas. So, uh, you know, if you have an idea, if there's something that you'd like to hear on the podcast, um, I know I personally would like to hear maybe for, from some more groups. Um, I love hearing the ex-witness story. That's my story. That's probably most of your stories. But I love hearing also what other people are going through and just seeing the, the common thread that runs through all these groups and all of our experiences um, because we're not alone within the group and we're not alone within all the groups. Uh, there's so much that we can all learn from one, one another. So I am planning on also reaching out to some groups and trying to see if I can get some interviews. Um, I'm also planning on trying to reach out myself to other podcasts, uh, maybe I can do an interview, or they can interview me on their podcast, and that will bring more attention to the Shun podcast. And, you know, by doing that, maybe we can all help each other and, and build up a greater audience. Um, I'm also, I've got an idea that I'm currently working on. So there are all of these channels, there are all these YouTube channels and podcasts, there are all these um, books and blogs, and they're all out there on the internet, but they're not very easy to find. They're all spread out. Uh, everybody's kind of doing their thing, and my goal, or what I'm already working on, is a website that kind of brings them all under one umbrella, just kind of like almost like a directory of all of this, um, so that if you are a person who likes YouTube videos, you can go here and find these YouTube videos, maybe have a little description about, you know, what this person is doing, or if you like podcasts, here's the podcast. If you, uh, like books, if you, I'd like to also put some resources on there that people can use things that, um, you know, not only people can use maybe in their daily life as far as, um, Oh, I don't know, maybe some business ideas or, or opportunities that things that people might benefit from. Boy, that was tongue-tied. Um, but also some resources like, uh, you know, suicide prevention hotlines or domestic abuse hotlines, things like that. Because, you know, unfortunately, 
when you leave a cult, uh, sometimes other things follow you behind. You know, we've come from abused environments and sometimes we attract abusers or we're seriously depressed because we've lost everything that we had and people need help. And so I just kind of want to kind of put everything in one place that everybody can go to and find that help easily instead of it being so fractured and spread out. Um, I also want to show, to highlight and showcase some of the, I don't know, the talent that people have. Um, obviously, talent is being showcased on podcasts and uh, YouTube channels and things like that. But you know, there are people out there who are doing art and there's culture that's being created from this ex Jehovah's Witness movement. And I want to kind of help highlight some of that and give people a place to show off what they're doing. And I, I think it's, I don't know, if I can get it all under one umbrella and if I can get this together, which I am I am working on, I think it would be a really cool place um, that might help us all find things that we identify with. Um, if you re listen regularly and you're caught up, then you know that I have a Facebook group called Shun Podcast. Um, the Facebook group is, uh, right now I think we've got over 200 members. It's not your ordinary XJ-Dub Facebook group. Um, you know, I, I do have some rules, some principles. I'm not trying to make it uh, too difficult to post in there. But along the lines of the Shun Podcast, the Shun Podcast is about us. It's about our stories, and it's about reclaiming our lives. And that's kind of what the group is about. It's not... The, late, the place to get the latest X or you know J Dub news. It's not the place to post all the outrageous things that witnesses did. I'm trying to keep it with a positive vibe, uh, something upbuilding, something encouraging, uh, something that helps us all you know support one another. Uh, you know sometimes supporting one another is talking about the negative, talking about how we were impacted by a thing, but uh, I don't want it to just be that. And so we do things on Wednesdays, we talk about what's good in our life. On uh, Saturdays and Sundays, we talk about self-care. You know, I, I'm trying to do some things in there, get people to, to share their Christmas trees. We had a Christmas uh, gift exchange, and that was awesome. Um, you know, people got to, you know, for some of this, that might be the only Christmas gift you get this year. You know, if you're freshly out, you don't have friends or family. Uh, to be able to get a Christmas gift from somebody who shares a, an experience and a story, that's a pretty magical thing. And so, uh, you know, just doing things like that to, to try to help us all, I don't know, have fun and live better lives. Um, so I've got this Facebook group, <clears throat> and, you know, part of it is helping people grow. Well, um, just yesterday I did a thing. I'll pull this up. Got my little certificate here uh, from a, the Life Coach Training Institute. I uh, went through a course, and I'm now a certified life coach. So um, what I want to do, okay, let me back up. Not only am I a certified life coach, but I am also a student in another life coaching program uh, through another coach. So I've kind of you know, taken a dive into this, and... I want to grow as a person that can help people, and I want to help other people grow. So I want to start creating programs that help people like us uh, not only look at where we've been and you know what we can learn from that, but I don't, I don't want us to get stuck in the past. Uh, I want to help us move forward. And I think you know, most of us have a lot of gifts inside, and we, we, we know a lot of things but it's been covered up through years of indoctrination and trauma and missed opportunities and regrets. And I think that, you know, what I want to do is offer some group coaching and help people, you know, not only learn from one another in the group, but help give some direction to people's lives, help people figure out what it is that they, they want or who they are under all of that. You know, that's a really hard thing to, to, to figure out sometimes. Uh, we've had so much that's been piled on top of us that it's hard to, to get rid of all that and to figure out who we are underneath it all. So uh, that's something that I've been particularly good at within myself. I've been able to help my wife. I've helped other people. And now it's time to take it up a notch. 
And that's what I hope to do. Uh, you know, we all need help when we leave these groups. Um, heck, we weren't even given basic tools like how to handle money or plan for retirement. Um, how, you know, because so many of us were so limited in our options since we didn't go to school, you know, what kind of business opportunities are out there? You know, what might be something that suits us? Who are we? <clears throat> and once we figure that out, you know, what path might we take to grow as not only a person, but to grow financially or relationships with other people? You know, these are all things that we need to explore. And that's what I want to help people do. So I'm really proud to be able to, to do this. I'm excited about it. And um, yeah, obviously, you know, it's going to be a paid service. Uh, I, I can't, you know, this all, again, this, this all takes time. Time is money. I can't do everything uh, for free. And, and, you know, I need to eat too. And I need to, the, the more mo money that I have coming in, then the more time I have to devote to things. So, um, you know, I think it would be a, a dream come true. Well, actually, wait a minute. We're going to talk about my dream coming true. So my ultimate goal, my ultimate dream is to start a foundation for those of us who leave cults, um, I want to start um, something that helps people with, you know, maybe some job training opportunities, scholarship opportunities, uh, maybe something that that includes, you know, a lot of young people leave cults and they have nowhere to go. So, you know, I'd like to have money available there to help people maybe put down a deposit on an apartment or, you know, just resources where people can find places to go if they don't have the money. I'd like to get all that tied in and, and to, to, you know, provide um, access to counselors or, you know, therapists and coaching and things like that, things that uh, can help more people to heal from this. So, you know, I do have bigger dreams. Uh, to be honest, the foundation is pretty, you know, to start something like that's fairly intimidating. It's an entire process of, you know, becoming a, was it a 501c3, uh, becoming a nonprofit entity, uh, trying to figure out how to do fundraising and, you know, to be the person that has the time to go out and do fundraising and to gather all these resources and to talk to all these entities and to bring them in. It's probably not something I'm going to be able to do on my own. I am currently um, talking or in the process of I am in the process of setting something up right now to talk to somebody who actually does start foundations locally for um, you know some hospitals and children's foundations and things. And you know, she's very knowledgeable, and so I'm trying to kind of get under her wing a little bit and to, just to to learn a little about this because honestly it's fairly overwhelming when you start diving in and trying to learn this um, and obviously I've got a lot on my plate already so uh, if I can get a little fast track on that that would be amazing so you know I'm, I'm trying to learn that you know that's m maybe more of a five-year goal to have some sort of a foundation in place because I I know there's a lot of framework that's gonna have to be laid to do that but I think that it would be certainly a noble uh, undertaking and, you know, again, all of this is about helping people. So um, if you're watching this right now and you have some feedback that you'd like to share, you know, post it below here in the YouTube comments. Or if I've shared this link, you know, on Facebook or something in the group, you know, feel free to post below. You know, let me know. Do you have an idea for the podcast? Um, do you have something that you'd like to see or... I don't know, just, or just, is there something that you like already? You know, whatever, just feel free to give me some feedback. I, I'm open to feedback. <clears throat> I guess the feedback might be to <clears throat> move out of the Ohio Valley where allergies are always so bad. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, I'll take anything. Um, there are some ways that you can help. You know, that is one way I, I can use feedback. Feedback is, is helpful. Even negative feedback is helpful. Um right now you can help by spreading the word you know share the podcast tell people about it and don't just it's not just for ex-jehovah's witnesses i can't tell you how many people 
that I'm finding out are listening to this who are, now of course there's, you know, being witness adjacent in some way, but also there are people who are watching this who are ex-evangelical or who lived in some little family cult or, you know, even a lot of mainstream religion has kind of culty aspects to it. And this is helping other people as well. So, you know, don't, don't limit yourself in this. This, you know, when you're, if, if, if you like this, please share it. Share it on Facebook, share it with your friends, whatever. Help get the word out because we want people to see this stuff. We want people to identify with it, but we also want people to learn what is really going on. You know, Leah Remini had her um, Scientology show, you know, do the episode on Jehovah's Witnesses, which was amazing. Um, kudos to everybody who was involved in that. They, I mean, just everybody did such a just a wonderful job. And that was amazing. And, you know, how excited were you that other people were probably watching this? And, you know, my wife was on Twitter that night. Uh, you know, I hosted a watch party in the Facebook group, and we were all kind of watching it together. And then, or some of us were, you know, a group of us were, and, and then my wife was on Twitter, and there were all these people with this sudden interest in the subject. You know, wait a minute. I thought these were just nice people that knocked on my doors. Are you telling me there's all this stuff behind it? And it helped a lot of people, and we were all excited about it. Well, you know, I'm not... I'm not Leah Remini. <laughs> um, I don't have the cachet um, of someone like that. And I'm not on TV. But these stories matter just like those stories mattered. And maybe we can help you know, spread the word and get these out. So please share the podcast. And go on to iTunes or whatever podcast app you use. And please give it a good rating. Because the more we can do that... The more it legitimizes the show, the more it raises in the algorithms of what people are shown that they might like to listen to when they're looking for podcasts, and the more we can get the word out there. So that's something that anybody can do. Anybody can share this or go rate it or review it or whatever, and that's something anyone can do right now who's watching to help. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, time is money. <laughs> so... You know, and I, this is all awkward for me even saying this, but, you know, it's just a fact. And so, um, you know, for years in our cleaning business, we underpriced ourselves. Um, why, you know, we were taught not to value ourselves as Jehovah's Witnesses. We weren't supposed to really aim any higher, do any more, whatever. We weren't, I don't know, it's, it's funny, you know, for a, an organization that thrives on donations, it's like they wanted to keep us poor. And, you know, we were doing the same thing to ourselves. So it's not, it's never easy to ask for monetary assistance. Um, and the last thing I would ever want to do is come off as, uh, I don't know, sleazy? <laughs> um, I think you can tell that I have an honest heart in all the things that I'm doing. Um, but it still feels weird to, to, to ask for such support. Um, so, you know, I'll just say once again, um, Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, patreon.com slash shunned is the Patreon page. And, you know, anyone who's willing and able to support the podcast, and when you support the podcast, you're not just supporting that, you're supporting all of this. Um, you know, that's, that's a cool way that you can help. It, it really means a lot to me personally, honestly, just to see that people are willing to part with five bucks or 10 bucks or whatever, like that people are willing to do that and give that to me because they like what I do. Um, I don't have a lot of cool, slick uh, gifts for people and different membership levels and all of that. Um, I think I'm doing some pretty cool and slick things already with the Facebook group and, and you know, the podcasts and, and just everything that I'm trying to do. Um, but you know, I do have some ideas, you know, maybe, uh, follow up episodes. Maybe we can put that in the Patreon for members or something like that. So, you know, that's open as well. And I'm thinking about that and, and how I want to do that because I do really appreciate everybody who donates. Um, it's not, I don't know. 
There's just something about that that means a lot to me. I guess I, I kind of came from a scarce background. I think a lot of us did as witnesses. Uh, not, a lot of us didn't grow up with a lot. <laughs> and the thought that somebody would just say, you know, here, here's something because I appreciate what you're doing. Um, I don't know. There's something to that that really, that really does mean a lot to me. So um, that's another way that you can help. You can also be helped by will being willing to share your stories. Like I said, I'm trying to amp up the production of these podcasts. I currently have, I think, 40 people who want to tell their stories on a list. And, you know, let's just do the math. If I'm doing one a month, um, what, four years from now I'll get to everybody? So, you know, clearly the demand um, is outweighing the supply. Uh, the demand to be on the show to tell their stories is outweighing my ability to help them get them told. So that's why I'm cutting back on some things in my personal life. And that's why, you know, because again, this, this gives to me, don't, let's not act like this just takes from me. This gives to me too. I enjoy doing this. I, I get a lot from this. It is, you know, after a tough interview, it, 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 it does impact me. I'm, I'm not immune to it, but, um, the rewards on the other end are worth it. So, um, yeah, I got to increase production. And so I'm attempting to do that. And so, you know, being able to, for people to, who want to tell their stories, like that's just such a great thing. Um, also, if you're in the Facebook group, you know, I've got an introductions uh, post there. And lots of people are sharing uh, a little bit about their story and, and where they came from. And, you know, maybe you're not the type who can take the, you know, it's a pretty bold step to jump out there and say, I want to tell my whole story. My, I want to tell my life story and, and put it out there for the world. And, and, and you know, that is a bold step. Um, of course, you know, a lot of times the rewards um, are just as great as the risks. But, um, you know, if that's not for you, Join the Facebook group. Get in there. You know, tell a little bit of your story. A lot of people are doing that in the introductions post, and um, I don't know. It just helps everybody to see that they're not alone. You can learn about different people in the group. It's just a it's just a really good way to connect with people, and I think that's you know, we're all looking for connection here. We're looking for community. So um, yeah, if if you've got feedback that you want to offer. Um, Go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, I want to, you know, thank everybody for their support. Uh, you know, this started with this JW life when I when I told my story, and I didn't, I never expected any of this. I certainly never thought I'd get uh, get behind the lens of a camera. <laughs> um, I'm the kind of person who hates to even have his picture taken. So to do this is a pretty big deal, and this is. You know, I'm growing through this too. So um, I just I just want to thank everybody for the support, for you know helping me grow too through this. Um, it's meant a lot to me. It's it's uh, not always easy, but it's always been worth it. Um, you know, I, I ultimately want us all to have a great 2019, and you know I hope that in some way I can be a part of that. Um, whether it's by providing a story that mirrors yours or whether it's by um, coaching somebody and helping them to, to, to reach out and to, to expand their lives. Like, I mean, I, I'm telling you, my life, <laughs> uh, it's just a total 180 from what it used to be. It really is. Um, I was deeply in debt. I was deeply overweight. I was deeply in a cult. I was deeply unhappy in my marriage. I was deeply unhappy with myself. And, you know, every bit of that is different now. Every bit of it. So, you know, I know that better things are out there. Um, the only variable is time and effort. And, you know, I, I hope that, um, that my time and effort is helping you. And I look forward to, you know, what comes with 2019. You know, these are goals. Goals are a direction to go. I don't, I don't see them as, you know, the, the end goal or you fail. This, goals give people direction. 
and this is all giving me a direction and I'm taking active steps and we'll see where it goes. So I hope that, uh, I hope you're on board too. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for everything that, that you've done for me as well. So take care and I'll see you in the next vidcast or you can listen to me in the next uh, episode of Shunned, which, um, yeah, actually I'm going to be epi- uh, editing here pretty soon and uh, I'll get that out sometime around the first issue, you know, with the holidays and everything. But, uh, you know, just look forward to seeing you then. Talk to you later. Bye.